Sia Bonga Sadiq Slongwe. 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 Who successfully completed the IPCI School of Journalism course. Our third prize winner, in third place, third place is Mariam Peer and Tahira Richmond. Second place goes to Furad Amin and Muhammad Peer. And the first prize, first place goes to Dr. Amina Jogiat. Yes, I'd like to call upon uh, Brother Dalton Gwane to come forward and hand over the prizes. Thank you very much and uh, really appreciate everyone coming. But before we go, uh, Dr. Amina Jog, your uh, first prize winner, will say a few words about the course, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I must say, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. I actually uh, must confess, I, I initially joined the cause um, just to keep an eye on my son and daughter. <laughs> And after the first, um, I thought I'd just be there for the first uh, lesson. And I found it um, so interesting and empowering that I actually decided to stay on with them. Um, just to echo, I'm actually going to be borrowing a lot from what Brother Abi Daoji and uh, Brother Daoud Ngwane have said. And <clears throat> that is that I believe that it is every Muslim's duty to empower themselves with the pen. Um, we heard the Kirat recital of Ikra. And um, I think we read it without pondering or understanding. And like Brother A.B. Daoji and Brother Tair Sitoto said, we become very emotional when issues affect us. But we don't arm ourselves with knowledge and we don't arm ourselves with the ability to write. Uh, I must confess that I myself uh, have often fallen into that category where you read an article, you read a, um, um, something in the newspaper, you get upset, you say, you know, somebody ought to respond. But really, I believe that that somebody has to be everybody. And that uh, we should actually take this, my suggestion to the IPCI and to those involved in journalism, is that we should take this to all high schools. Because basically it is our youth that need to be empowered. They need to be able to understand issues. They they, they need to move away from um, being brainwashed. And sometimes, unfortunately, when, when the media brainwashes um, people, young and old alike, Muslims themselves become victims to that brainwashing. If you read often enough that you are violent, you, you think you are violent, you think that your, your, your religion or your belief or your culture is violent. And, you know, there has um, very often, and we hear on the media, and we read in the print media, um, whenever a Muslim has done something, then he is fundamentalist Islamist. And that is only if he has done something that is going to evoke a negative emotion emotional response. Somebody is beheaded, it was a fundamentalist Islamist Iraqi or Afghani or whoever who did it. But when the Muslim is a victim, then if you read critically, you will find he's, he's not even mentioned as a Muslim. He's a Bosnian victim or a Malawian victim or a, 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 a Burundian victim. He's, the fact that he's a Muslim victim is not mentioned. And I think we as Muslims have to take up this uh, 
uh, Kajal. And I think that this media journalism cause, and, and I'm, I don't think I'm being um, too ambitious in saying this, I think it should be taken to everybody, to the housewife, as well as to the student, as well as to someone who actively wants to do journalism. Because really, uh, the two things, the media, the pen, the dawa, is, and the knowledge is everyone's responsibility. If, if you're a housewife and you're walking to a supermarket, you are engaging someone. And if you're engaging them with knowledge, um, if you've changed one person's heart, he meets five other people or she meets five other people, and she will say, no, you know, what I'm reading in the media is not really what a Muslim is about. So, so it's everybody's responsibility. The war, you can't, the, the jihad is also a jihad of reading and of writing and of, of spreading knowledge. And I think um, you can't do that unless you empower yourself. You can't do that unless you learn. You, you acquire information. You know, we all sit and we sit amongst ourselves. I've been to an, a, a talk recently with Brother A.B. Dawji. Yes, there's a few Muslims sitting there who know what's happening and you talk amongst yourselves and you, en you sort of enhance your knowledge and that's it. We, we need to take it out to those who don't know. We need to listen to radio shows. We need to respond. But it, like Brother A.B. Dawji said, it's embarrassing when we listen to the responses. We need facts and we need to respond with that. And my last challenge is especially to Brother Ismail Suda and uh, Sister Aisha Ma, and other qualified journalists. I think we also need investigative journalism. I don't think we need to read dish out what um, Associated Press or someone else or someone else is giving us. What happens is uh, 911, okay, this was at bombers went in. Which Muslim investigative journalist has gone out to find fact. You know, what, what, what you find in the media is that um, something happens, a Muslim name is arrested, or an Arab name is arrested, it's played in, 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 in the media, and then five or ten days later he's released because there was no evidence against him, and that's not made a big issue of. So what happens in the mind of the good people out there They've associated the crime with the Muslim or the Arab, and it's over. And we as journalists need to then make a big hoo-ha about the fact that he was released and no information. So, so uh, you know, these are all challenges. And uh, Jazakallah, um, I think we need to go further. I think this cause is just an introduction. I would very much want to do more. And um, I think we need to also take it out to, to everybody, housewife to student to university student. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. I want to thank everyone for coming. Jazakallah khair. It was, uh, uh, you have been, we have blessed us with your presence here. And thank you very much. And inshallah, we'll hope to see you in the next uh, journalism graduation in a couple of months' time, inshallah. Before I complete and finish off, I'd like to call Brother Ibrahim to come forward and read a dua, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala rasulil karim la ilaha illa allah wa akdahu la sharika la adan sumadan la meli jolam yula jolam ya kullahu kufuan ahad jazallahu anna sayyidina muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bima huwa akhluh rabbana atina fi tunia hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina zaban nar rabbana zalamna anfusana wa inam taqfirana wa jalhamna wa kuna minal khasirin alahu maghfir lana wa li walidina wa jamin muslimin wa muslimat wa muminin wa muminat لا يغفر الذنوب إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سبحانه وتعالى نكون من الظالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والأسر إن الإنسان لا في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا من الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر لا إله إلا الله سبحانه وتعالى نكون من الظالمين آمين